Oh. So I'm playing the long game. Um, trying to get a creatine supplement company to sponsor my videos. Um, that's why I've been doing this. Far away. Th these are my uh, far and away mugs, by the way. Let's go. All right. So um, I made $7,938 yesterday. That's spread between Amazon, Mediavine, FanFuel, Cell Health, um, OnlyFans. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've excluded stuff like um, flat rate partnerships, which is when brands pay us five to 20 K a month to be placed number one at a certain listicle that on an asset we control, um, purely because I don't want to do the accounting behind that. We do like roughly a hundred K a month there. Uh, so if you want, if you want to calculate it, you can probably run it to like three K a day. So I guess my real total revenue per day is about 11 K today, but, uh, just letting you guys know, I'm not going to be calculating that. So how do I calculate, um, the, revenue from yesterday um, because the earnings, actual earnings is typically not accurate. You should go off of ordered revenue. So ordered revenue is 70.7K yesterday. And yeah, if you do rough maths here, <laughs> I always do rough maths. Apologies for that. But um, very, very rough. You could probably run it to 3.6K and that's what we ended up with. So yeah, uh, personally, uh, yesterday was a pretty easy day actually uh took it relatively easy promised janice i wouldn't work too much um just recorded the video yesterday which actually popped off really happy with that um so i guess i have to do more in-depth uh guides and people will love it um yeah so janice and i just we had lunch with my parents which was great um she ate some raunchy chinese place which she asked for and we uh obviously gave her what she wanted um and then yeah, uh, we had dinner at some really gnarly family restaurant, which she also requested. Ended up going bowling. Um, I wanted to destroy her at bowling, but uh, sadly, that wasn't the case. I lost 2-1. Two, two um, and the worst part about Janice is uh, she's a really good winner because she doesn't really rub it in your face. So that hurts even more. All right, you losers. Um, for today's tip of the day, I'm going to show you guys how I scale up our content production using AI. Um, so our complete workflow pretty much goes like this. We generate content using AI, one of the tools that um, I'm about to mention. And then two, uh, they, get they get pushed into WordPress as a draft post. And then three, my editors go in and format and uh, edit as needed. So they remove redundancies from uh, the content and uh, yeah, add in uh, nicer images, uh, add featured images, edit, um, pretty much just like rewrite wherever they see fit. Um, they don't do all, too much. Probably they rewrite like 200 words per post. And with this uh, method, we're able to scale up to mm, probably we're in like the 2000 posts a month range. And we have like 12 people full time doing only this. Um, so yeah, with that said, yeah, let's get started. I'll show you the, my results first on one of our businesses, which is far and away. Um, I build this semi in public. I don't show the e-commerce side, but <laughs> let me tell you guys, it's doing quite well. Um, right. So, uh, far and away, as you can see here, um, earlier this year, we started ramping up the content production and August hit a high of 11 K in earnings. Um, yeah, like this is primarily because we we rank for ice maker keywords, so we were able to moon like do really well there. Uh, in terms of rankings right now, it it, it slipped a bit, but I, I I'm still okay with this because um it's still higher than before. I suspect we'll probably hit like somewhere around six k this month, including Black Friday. So I'm I'm quite happy with this. Um, so yeah, how exactly do we do it? Um, I'm about to show you. First up, um, before we even get started with anything, p 
please comment AI writer in the comment section below if you found this to be helpful at all. Um, and if you want me to keep doing these, please. And also, if you're going to sign up for Koala AI, please, please, please use the link down below. And yeah, um, I believe there will be a coupon code. I'm not sure just yet, but yeah. Um, so let's set this up together. Um, this is my side account. Obviously, I created a new account, so I don't show you my other uh, partnerships. But uh, yeah, let's try to fill this out. So first, um, you have to go into account if you want to do bulk posts, of course. So you go into a account. And then you click this integration, WordPress, boom. Type in farandaway.co. And then my username, which will be, I believe, farandaway. So here we go. Yes, I just showed you guys my um, username. Don't try to brute force it. Don't be stupid. Anyways, and then you go into users. Um, go into all users. Click edit. And then you click, uh, you add an application password. So I'm just going to say uh, bulk posts. If this could be anything. It's not really that big of a deal. And then you just copy this bad boy. Put that shit right back in here. Add account. And then you're done. Um, you're connected. Uh, so what's next? All right, what's next? Um, so I use this um, you just add a project, make sure you add a project because I didn't do that in the beginning, especially if you're doing multi, um, multiple sites and it just keeps things nice and neat. And I actually use GPT 3.5. I found it's good enough. Um, and I don't want to pay five times the word count usage. Um, anyway, so, uh, always select Amazon product roundup review. Well, I, I go heavy into Amazon. You guys can do your other thing. I found Koala is best for these type of articles. Um, in terms of normal blog posts, like informational, like uh, can dogs eat lettuce? Uh, you, you have better, you have better writers out there. But um, Koala is second to none in terms of Amazon product roundups. So best X Y Z. So best small humidifier, best ultrasonic humidifier. They're the best. There's nothing even close. I've tried to build my own. Couldn't do it. Um, just sign up for it. Use my link down below. Don't Google it, all right? I'm serious, guys. Anyways, so you just select uh, integrator account. If you successfully created the account earlier, it will come up here. And then make sure you select uh, Amazon.com because we're not trying to do any small boy stuff in small markets. Um, number of products. I actually like um, adding more products because of, I don't know, freaking work count or some shit. Uh, I typically do eight because it's very, uh, it's a lucky number in Chinese culture. So I just, I just hit them with the eight, um, eight, eight, eight to 12. Um, and I just randomize that. And then you add in your Amazon tracking ID, bada bing, bada boom language. Uh, I always enable FAQ and then you just click bulk create and the rest is history. Uh, when it's done creating, I will be back. All right. So, um, one of the articles is done. Well, the second one just popped up. I wasn't going to wait for it to finish. Anyways, um, so what will happen is it will pop up as a draft here. And uh, what my team does, or what I'm about to show you is we just edit it, go into edit, and it posts in uh, classic mode, we convert to blocks. And then I just ask them to, um, how do I say, uh, go into another post and use that as like a template, if that makes sense. So you just take this, click it, as you see this, should, do you guys even care if I do this? Um, I'll probably go like 500 pixels. That's still too big. Uh, 300. I, obviously I haven't done this in a while. Um, align center. And then what I do is we always add a button here. So you just copy that. Boom paste done. Um, and then you just take this, uh, take this, uh, affiliate link, add it in. And then if you want, this is not really necessary. I just do it because, uh, my, I think it looks better, but, um, you can add this thing too. Um, so we just add that in and format it accordingly. Uh, it's super easy. Um, I recommend you guys do this. You don't have to, I, I think it looks better. It's better for user experience. And as Google says, we do everything for uh, 
experience, right? Like U UX. Um, and that's it. It's pr pretty easy. Um, so I just go like this, uh, copy this as well. Okay. Delete, paste, delete the previous one. And just like that, I've done the first one. Um, and we are done with the first one. So it looks pretty good. Um, let's publish and see what it looks like. Da, da, da. <clears throat> right. I forgot to add it into a category. So I already messed up, but, um, let me add that right now. Uh, it should be under the, uh, we can just put it under the artisan, which is fine. All right. So let's, let's see what it looks like. Oh, right. I forgot to add a featured image, add a featured image guys. It's not that hard. I'm not going to show you how to do it. Um, we typically remove background, but some people told me that, uh, removing background is against TOS. So, um, maybe not, maybe don't do that. Uh, so you add and make sure the button is right underneath the image, because if you notice on inspect, it looks really good and it's like very clickable. It's good for CRO, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. So that's the video. Um, we pretty much just do that times 2000 times a month, uh, across like my team. And we do that across several different industries and yeah, it works like very, very well in terms of uh, ranking on Google, um, as you can clearly see, but just make sure you don't post directly onto, um, just pure AI content. It's kind of spammy. Uh, we like to fix things up, make sure everything's accurate, make sure the product is actually good. Otherwise it's not great for revenue because, um, it's not going to convert if you send people to like a crappy product. So make sure the product is good. Make sure, uh, what they're writing is accurate. Uh, make sure everything is up to date. I don't know. We caught some weird things with Koala and uh fourth thing is make sure you use my affiliate link. And, uh, for people who aren't subbed yet, please sub. All right. Don't, don't be ridiculous. And if you've watched up to here, here, I've already prompted you once. I'm gonna prompt you again. Uh, just comment AI writer. All right. So I'm going to rapid fire questions right now. Um, sorry if I don't get to it today. Uh, we only have four minutes and counting it down starting now. Uh, if you guys have any questions about today's video, please comment down below. All right. Uh, no, not even sure what that is. No, I don't use multi login browser. I'm not sure what that is. Thanks for all the happy birthday. Why do I live in Canada? Taxes are insane there. Guys, sometimes you just have to live where you want to live. Um, taxes are just a small part of it. And, uh, personally, I only pay myself like a hundred to 200 K a year. Um, the rest is within my company for some, uh, explore. uh, how do you work out cost per lead? So guys, you have to calculate. So it's obviously the rent and rent, uh, rank and rent model. Um, how do I charge? how do I charge? How do I bill people? Just find out how, how much people make per customer. And then you try to give them a margin. Like if a towing customer makes a hundred bucks per tow, um, like net, maybe try, try to charge them 50 bucks. So they get 50% margin at least. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, in depth tutorial. I thought that was pretty in depth already. Um, mindset skill sets, uh, duh, duh, duh. probably just do and don't take uh gurus like word for like just like take it at face value don't even listen to me either just like if i say something just try it and if it works great if it doesn't just, sorry um so just try everything just take everything with a grain of salt you read online uh unique advantage do do you pitch with your directory company to sell them listings so how do i pitch pitch pretty much this is probably my weakest part. What you do is you just reach out to people to say, Hey, um, we rank number one for best Vancouver realtor. Uh, want to be listed at number one. And then they say, yeah, yes. And then you tell them the price. They're going to be like, no, Hey, we'll give you a trial. You want to see the type of leads, yada, 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 done. Um, how do you choose which tier one links to power up with tier two? Uh, I would probably choose the ones that have traffic already. So what you try to do is you try to actually drive traffic into the tier one links. Um, so for example, if a tier one link is ranking for best realtor in uh, Washington um, and it's linking to your best realtor in Vancouver article, I'd push like links, a, a, a bit of links to it, try to make it rank. Traffic is good, uh, good indicator for uh, links. 
I revive. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, the thing is, how I feel about tiering is you don't want to tier stuff from like reputable sources. Like, I typically only tier like dog shit uh, links because like the site is already garbage, so they won't mind getting pounded. But like, if you're like, if you find out it's one of my sites and you tier it, I'm removing that and I'm not returning your money, you know? Um, yes, I do like making my haters sit through my revenue updates. Da, da, da. Thanks for all the happy birthdays to Janice. I, I pass them on and she's kind of like, what the hell's going on here? Um, are there any strategies? Full stack? Uh, yes, try programmatic SEO. It's very easy uh, for you to get started. Uh, maybe code some plugins. That's nice too. Or uh, work with open AI. Like create a better AI writer. Thanks for all the happy birthdays. Duh, 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 duh. So I already answered this. Um, make make sure you structure the deal where both sides make money, but um, you pretty much have to figure out how much they make per customer. I'm not going to do a course on rank and rents. It's, I'm pretty sure if you watch my video, my previous video, you get enough to get started. <clears throat> Example of a good rank and rent website. Uh, I think cares.com or care.com is a good rank and rent in terms of directory. But the the ones, one pagers, I, I believe Fat Rank has some examples on his site. Creatine is good. I should be working out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to hit the gym after this. Um, we're at four minutes now. Thanks for all the happy birthdays. How do you monetize the directory populated by Outscraper? Um, so you can have like a self checkout if you want if you want to be lazy you just like 50 bucks per month to be listed on my uh directory and then people just start paying uh if you but make sure you rank if you don't rank you're not gonna get any money anyways the best methods to make 10k a month i believe it's rank and rent right now try it out guys uh what's the chrome in session yeah it's keywords everywhere thanks for the answer da, da, da. how much creatine am i taking daily I eyeball five grams a day, man. But I think we need that metal spoon back where I hit 10 grams. Uh, let's say duh, 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 informational. What was coming? Duh, duh. No idea. If it's my ads. Yeah, you can, you can, you can. I like throwing rank and rents on niche sites. So try that out. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate the ongoing support. How much money to ask for? I already answered this earlier. Why don't you include the, in the daily income report? Uh, it's too much to calculate. I mentioned it today. Binance income guys, I think bull markets back. I'm making like way more money now. Um, yeah, I'll update that in end of November partnerships penalized. Why would they get penalized? I'm not doing anything sketchy. Um, Oh, a lot of commercial articles. They got penalized. Make sure to assume that no, nah, it's, it's already covered in the contract. We Gucci. All right. Black. Eye. Yeah. Fuck the haters for real. Um, does James Dooley just do this on a huge scale? Yeah, pretty much. And I can, so, so the people, the haters who say he's like lying, it's not that hard to set this up. You just need like a really great system on like selling people, managing the clients, so on and so forth. It's, it's a bitch to work with. I wouldn't want to do it, but, uh, anyone, he, he, I'm sure he can do it. Um, I, I don't know his sites for a fact, but, um, I can see it working. Uh, one of my sites, da, 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 da. Yes, hire hire those out individual pa uh, pages for a fee. What do you think? Yes. Uh, yes, I should probably hire a VA for this. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that. Uh, directory site check out like cares or care dot com. Just search daycares near me, and you'll find directory sites um, that I'm giving uh, using as examples. Um, but yeah no detailed video all right guys um that's it for the video today if you guys liked it comment ai writer uh if you don't see you guys next time but um that's it see you guys tomorrow